day six of my morning ritual series, where for a full week I have released a brand new class so that we can welcome the day in the perfect way together. Please begin by bringing the soles of your feet down in front of you with a bend in the legs. Let's begin moving through some seated cat cows. Exhale as you draw your chest towards your knees and inhale as you draw those shoulders back and open out through your chest. Begin by keeping your physical movements subtle, but make sure that you're breathing deeply. Begin to add more physical movement to the in and exhale, extending through the arms as you inhale back and exhale as you contract and draw the chest closer to the knees. Keep this going to the rhythm of your own in and exhale. And final time, bringing yourself back to centre. Bringing your right calf muscle on top of your bent left thigh. For a deeper stretch, bring that left foot closer to the body. With your hands behind you, keep your arms straight and just continue breathing deeply as you release the body into this stretch. Now we're going to hold this stretch for a while, so just close your eyes and bring your attention to the breath. Breathing in on a count of four seconds, pause, and then exhale on a count of eight seconds. Now let's close our eyes, bringing our focus to the breathing, allowing the body to relax into this stretch. On your next inhalation, open your eyes. And as you exhale, slowly drop your right knee down to the ground, keeping your legs just as they are. Extending your left arm in a prana mudra through the fingers, extending that left arm out and resting it on top of your legs. Now let's return back to centre. Now we are going to transition into a spinal twist. Tuck your left leg under bringing the sole of your right foot down. Connect left elbow to right knee. Right fingertips come behind you, central to your back. Move into your twist by looking over your right shoulder behind you, keeping your spine straight from the base of your spine out through the crown of your head. Now let's release, bringing both hands down behind you. Look forward, release the legs bringing the sole of your right foot down and your left calf now rested on top of your right thigh, moving yourself as deep into the stretch as you feel comfortable to do so. Now let's come back to that breathing technique we did on the other side holding the stretch. So you want to breathe in on a count of four seconds, pause, and then exhale slowly on a count of eight seconds. It's okay if you can't do it perfectly, this is just about practice. So let's close our eyes now and start moving into our breath work. On your next inhalation, open your eyes and slowly lower your left knee down, taking a prana mudra through the right hand, extending that right arm and resting it on your left foot.
Let's now come back to center and move into our gentle spinal twist. Tucking your right leg underneath you and bringing the sole of your left foot down on the other side of your right leg. Right elbow to left knee and begin to turn around looking over your left shoulder. Remember to keep your spine nice and straight and your breathing nice and deep. Let's release and come back to center, extending out through the legs and connecting at the ankle. Let's tuck those legs beneath the body and hop back into a tabletop foundation with your palms beneath your shoulders and your knees beneath your hips. Let's begin to roll round and round through the trunk, through the central body. Be as fluid as you can with your movements through the spine. Through these fluid and intuitive movements, really explore your whole trunk and torso area. Where are you holding tension? How does this feel? What would feel better? Start to explore your own personal physical boundaries, really waking up the body here from the inside out. Now return back to center and engage your core. Look forward and start to step your hands out towards the very front of the mat, pushing your weight back into those hips at the same time, slowly lowering your chest down and moving into puppy pose. If your chin to the ground is too much, just lower your forehead instead and pull back a little bit. Finding your pose, hold and breathe, making sure that you are breathing as deep as possible. Let's all take one more deep expansive inhalation together and as you exhale let's release pressing down into those hands lowering those elbows and pushing your way back into those hips. Extend your right leg back behind you lowering the toes to the floor. Begin to rock your body weight forwards and backwards. Now lifting that right leg up to hip height and extending it back behind you. Follow by lifting your left arm, keeping your core tightly engaged. On your next inhalation, bring your left arm out to the side. Then thread your left hand under the body towards your right arm. Then extend back out to the side. So you want to keep your core firmly engaged and keep this movement going. Threading the arm under and then extending back out to the side. Final time, then if it is within your practice, taking your back right heel and lifting up. For a more gentle variation, you can also just draw that right heel towards the glute muscle. Now let's release, bringing both your right knee and left hand down. Moving into child's pose, releasing your weight into your stretch and lowering your forehead down to the ground. On your next inhalation, let's come back up to a tabletop foundation. Moving straight into the other side as we extend our left leg now back behind us. Toes down and begin to rock your body weight forwards and backwards. Now extend that left leg back behind you at hip height. Bring your right arm up now and hold, engage the core.
Now let's bring that right arm out to the side of your body. Inhale. Exhale as you thread that right arm under the body towards the left arm and then back out to the side. Keeping this movement going, exhale, thread under and inhale, expand out to the side. Final time. And then let's take that left heel with your right hand, lifting up or just drawing the heel towards your glute muscle. Listen to your body as some knees are sensitive. Final deep breath in here and as you exhale, release bringing your left knee down and opening through the knees and coming into a wide knee child's pose. Full exhale as you release any tension you may be holding anywhere. And on your next inhale, let's come up to downward facing dog. Heels down and neck relaxed. Let's enjoy a couple of rounds of deep, slow breathing here. Here I suggest bringing in a hujai breath. So breathing audibly through the back of the throat, making a sound similar to the ocean waves. On your next inhalation, begin to lower both knees down towards the ground. Turn towards your left side, lifting your left arm up towards the ceiling, keeping your knees together. Exhale as you draw yourself down towards the ground and inhale as you spring your way back up, coming back to centre and moving over and across to the other side. Again, exhale as you release down towards those heels and then inhale as you spring back up. Back to centre, inhale and then again through the other side, exhale slowly down, moving into those hips, bending into those knees, inhale back to centre, knees at centre and exhale, let's come to the other side. Inhale, moving your way back to downward facing dog and exhale, releasing those heels down and relaxing your neck. On your next inhale, begin to walk up the central line of your yoga mat, making your way into a forward fold. Allow your upper body to hang heavy here as you release fully into your forward fold. Option here to take a bind behind the back, interlacing the fingers and extending both elbows. Release the arms and allow gravity to open into the chest and upper back area. Now bending into your knees, begin to roll up to stand up. Release your hands along the way. Deep breath in as you come to standing. Hands at your side, palms open. And exhale, collapse the body, moving into a forward fold. Inhale to halfway lengthen. Exhale, step your right leg back behind you and transition to high lunge. Engage your core for balance and step that right foot up to the front beside your left and forward fold. And let's move into the other side. Step now your left leg back and inhale into high lunge. And exhale, step that left foot back beside your right and forward fold. Inhale to halfway lengthen and exhale as you roll up to stand up, engaging your core and taking a back bend. Inhale, move to forward fold. Exhale, step back to high plank and move through your chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog and exhale, stack your legs and hips to the right side, looking over your left shoulder. 
coming back to centre and moving across to the other side. Back to centre, inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, push back to downward facing dog. Now bring your knees down, crossing at the ankle. Sit down, transitioning your legs to the front of you. Extend those legs out with both legs extended in front of you. Let's draw in that right heel to the left groin. Take a deep breath in as you extend your arms up above the head and as you exhale, forward fold. Coming down onto your extended left leg as far as you can whilst keeping the integrity of your spine. Closing your eyes here and just bringing your focus to your breathing. Deep, slow breaths, filling and emptying your lungs with every in and exhale. On your next inhale, let's release, bring those shoulders back, extend that right leg out beside the left and just switch, bringing the left foot into the right groin, inhale through the arms and exhale to forward fold. Closing your eyes, releasing your body weight into the stretch and just enjoying your deep, slow breathing. And on your next inhalation, let's draw those shoulders back and return to a seated position, bringing the soles of your feet together, opening out through the knees and coming into butterfly pose. I'm just going to adjust myself to face you. Please stay where you are. When you have found your butterfly, begin to lift and lower your knees, moving your way a little bit into those hips, keeping your back nice and straight. Now we are going to close off our practice with regulated abdominal breathing. The same as we did in the beginning. So we're breathing in on a count of four seconds, pause, and then exhaling on a count of eight seconds. Please close your eyes and just keep this going, making your focus, your in and exhale. This breathing technique will calm your central nervous system bringing you into the present moment and removing anxiety and stress, creating space for you to be completely in tune with your intuition, feel calm and relaxed so that you can make good choices as you face the day ahead. Thank you so much for joining me. It is truly such an honor that you choose to practice yoga with me. If you enjoyed this class, subscribe now. I release multiple classes per week, so I will see you on the mat next time. Wishing you a beautiful day. Namaste.